every every move I make is is a productive, super high productive, efficient activity. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. At some point in your life, if you're going to achieve happiness and balance between happiness and production, you have to find something satisfying and gratifying. You have to find some kind of happiness and balance there with what you did that day, regardless of what it was. So I know that when I wake up in the morning, I'm I, everything is productive activity, every second, productive, 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 going from one to the next, to the next, to the next, all the way till about five o'clock is when I start just cutting it off, right? And at five o'clock when I cut it off, whatever I got done up to that point, I'm happy with. You know, I know that I did all I could do. And so I think, I think the problem is, is that, and then after five o'clock I'm done, and then I can relax. And then that relaxness that I take between five and going to bed, it recharges me to where I'm ready to go the next day and I don't feel burnt out because I, I didn't recharge. See, the problem is maybe with you is, is you're thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it all the way to bed and you wake up the next morning and you're mentally burned out because you never quit thinking about it. You never recharge. How do you, other than calling, how do you leverage that sold property into more sold for sale properties listings? You just call all the owners of that own property around that around that listing. Period. End of yeah. story. Yeah. That's it. You call them and you say, how are you doing? You know, this is Ricky Carruth. You know, I'm enjoying the day. Isn't it gorgeous? Cool. Look, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I just sold a house right around the corner from you. And I didn't know if there's anything in the world I can do for you today. Boom. Love it. Boom. <laughs> just like yeah. that. You didn't try to sell them anything, right? Yeah. You didn't try to sell them. Nothing. You're just letting them know. You did, you're just letting them know and you're letting them know you're here to help them too. If they are interested. If not, cool. Look, is there an agent you would work with? No? Well, I'm sure you're going to do something down the road, right? Sure. I'd love the opportunity to work with you when that day comes. Would it be alright if I just stayed in touch with you? Great. So comfortable. Great. So comfortable. What, what's, what's a good email for you? Is this your cell number? Bam. Bam. Then, I you love create, it. then you create that personal brand. Use that contact information and that email to do a weekly email on the same day of the week forever. Deals are actually, it's actually worth it to do a deal for free. I never, I'm not, I'm not going to do one for free, but it's worth it. You know, I'll, I'll negotiate that commission and uh, I'm not going to go below the industry standards. However, if there's agents down the road doing it for way cheaper, then obviously I have to adapt. You know, obviously I'm going to have to come down, you know, if, if, you know, if the competition is lower and I'm losing deals to the competition left and right, then I'm going to have to adjust. Um, so I think at the end of the day, when you want to hold on to 7% because of your pride and what is 7% of zero is still zero. Here's the, well, so, here, well, here's the bigger problem. Here's the bigger problem. If you hold firm on seven and somebody takes it at six, Okay. Um, you basically just turn that deal down for 1%. Okay. Now what happens is, is that agent that took it, right? They, 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 they created a lifelong relationship with that prospect. And now that prospect does 10 to 20 more deals with them over the life of their career through repeat right. business referrals and referrals of referrals. Right. And so, and so through that, you just threw away 10 to 20 deals over the next 20 years because of 1% on a deal. You just threw away 20 deals for 1%. So when you really think about it in those terms, deals are actually, it's actually worth it to do a deal for free. I never, I'm not, I'm not gonna do one for free, but it's worth it because it. the relationship and the future business you're gonna get out of that deal, you know? So I think the agents that are turning listings down over a half a percent or 1% or something, they're really losing big time. You know, they're not thinking big picture. You know what I mean?